Monday morning, welcome back to another episode of me. <laughs> um, yeah, I am heading eastwards for a 140 service, aircon, stuff like that. Got a shovel to call into as well. And if I really do well, there's a 85 that needs that rework with the fan hub. I've gone over on my ankle, on my ankle, on my knee yesterday, sheeting a sh sheeting a shilage pit up. So I'm limping. It's in fun. Anyway, go and have a look at this shovel first, I think, because that's on the way. Okay, so we've got this 420. Noisy when you brake, so when you brake it's like a sort of a noise. I've just taken it for a run up the quarry and sure enough. It is noisy. Um now it's only done it's an old machine but it's only done eight and a half thousand hours. And I don't know why I'm showing you the tire so much. Um it looks like they've been using the right oil as well. He showed me the oil that they're using to service it with and it does look correct. The oil in it is about 500 hours old, so it shouldn't really be the oil. But normally in my experience when we get noisy brakes, it's normally the oil rather than the brakes being worn out. I have no machines reach 10, 11, 12 thousand hours before it needs the brakes looking at. So we're just gonna try and measure how much wear is in the brake disc. I'll show you that now. So, check the brake wear on these shovels. You've got the hub here, and you take this bung out, which looks like that. And in here, you see. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to show you inside that Allen bung hole, but this is basically what we're looking at here. Oh, this phone today, honestly. Um, so we've got the brake pack here and what we're measuring is the gap between the wear plate and the friction pad and the wear plate and the gap should be well any less than 3.5 mil and the brakes are on the way out so what I do is I get a 3 mil allen key and a 4 mil allen key and I was finding that the 4 mil allen key was just biting the allen key so there is still a bit of meat left on those pads um, so I think the easiest thing to do I'm back here at the end of the week to service the 350 there's another job to do with this as well I'm gonna change out the axle oil it's also coming up with a differential pressure fault between the transmission filters um, and on the transmission filters they were last changed at 7,000 hours we're on eight and a half so you want a transmission service, we'll change the axle oil. Needs a joystick. 350 needs an EGR valve, it needs a thousand hour service. Gonna be busy on Friday. <laughs> oh, I've got loads to do. And then I'm working on Saturday. Bank holiday Monday, I've got a machine. Zero tail swing on 40, it needs that hot water tap doing. Tuesday, I haven't got anything booked in. And then Wednesday, I'm away on my holidays. <laughs> so, oh dear, right, let's go and get this job done now. Give the fella a phone. Okay, the, um, this is obviously a harvard dig timber harvester. Um, so this is the job that I called into oh, last week and um, customer complaint, no air conditioning. I'll maybe put that back on there for him. A bit of a climbing frame this, as you can see, it's got all the rollover protection and stuff. Um, so yeah, no air conditioning. Check the pressure sensor down there. I had continuity through it, had power to it. Came up here and check the power. 
down at this compressor. I had power down here, but I didn't have a click to say that the compressor was clicking in. So all I need to do is take the tension out of the fan belt and then take these two pipes off, four bolts, compressor out, new compressor in, uh, and recharge the system. I'm not expecting this to have gone and obliterated itself internally, but I have got a new condenser just in case it has. And um, we'll have to flush out lines out and that if that is the case. So I am here and prepared. So without further ado, take the tension out of this fan belt and then um, it's getting a 500 hour service and we've got a new intercooler pipe as part of a rework. So yeah, should be here a couple of hours I would imagine. Right, so yeah, the plan is, that's the belt tension off by the way. Um, plan is, is to, while well, this is drawing a vacuum, um, I'll service the engine. Oh my goodness me, it's phone today. Back in a minute. We've got a new one and old one. There's no grey metallic gunk in here, so I'm pretty sure everything will be okay. Um, yeah, these are a lovely little job to do. You're right on top of it. Four bolts, two pipes, and it's off. I really appreciate that. See what I mean by some ideas on new diggers are better, and then they change something, and it's not better. <laughs> this is one of those things that are good. Um, yeah, nice, easy job. Right, we'll dangle this one in the hole, see if we can get the four bolts in. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, that took exactly 30 minutes. Um, tension's back on the belt. What I'm gonna do now is just nip down there, check the filter in the condenser, mate, just to double check. And then we'll uh, start pulling a vacuum and get some engine oil dropped. There you go, that filter screen is immaculate. If that goes down here, there's also a a uh, desiccant. Oh no. <laughs> that filter screen was immaculate. <laughs> oh, what a plum. It's still immaculate. Um, yeah, there's a like a desiccant sock in here as well. Which should be okay as well. So, we'll just um, start pulling a vacuum once I've got this plastic threads cross threaded into here. <laughs> Has that got a bite? No. Right handed job maybe. That feels better. Um, yeah we'll pull a vacuum then we'll drop some engine oil out and we'll have it serviced and then it'll be ready to put the aircon back in. That'll be my work done on this. Can't get that to start back in there. and it's plastic to a metal thread. There goes our engine oil. Get out from under here. You'll notice this has got skis on it. We call these skis. I'll show you better from the outside. So these are full length track guides, which look pretty substantial. And what I like about these is, eaten by a fly then, um, they're bolted on. Quite often, you see them welded to the machine, and that is horrible for if you ever need to replace a roller. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice to see somebody's thought about that. Got a bit of strength added into here as well. Um, usually we see one top and bottom, inside and out. Um, but yeah, that stops this bit in here splaying out which then stops the idler being able to walk about like that. Less chance of throwing a track off. Um, but yeah, certainly any kind of forestry application, very least undercarriage modifications wise, is one of these. Um, the high tracks come with that as standard like, uh, but uh, 14 tonners and uh, the two tens don't, so 
something to remember if you're if you're going to put one of these dig digs in the woods so we're going to do all four filters in here pilot engine oil primary fuel secondary fuel or water and fuel um something that i've noticed which is quite cool look got a built-in suction pipe for to refill the hydraulic oil i think i think that's what it's for that's quite neat isn't it yes it is yeah hydraulic pump we've got a light in here as well haven't we oh look we've got a light in here service light very well thought out and professionally done as well i would say 100 percent you know nothing's although it's got all this extra guarding on nothing is inaccessible um sometimes with a homemade machine things can be inaccessible or you have to take loads of bolts off these guards here to get into something so that's nice to see it's been thought out right take that off there where's the tap see look even the tap still accessible he says yep lovely feels off let's get these filters changed that's all the filters changed on the far side um what i'm going to tell you i'm just going to take the drain pipe out the bottom of the engine i stopped the um vacuum pump shut these taps so while i'm putting engine oil back in putting the little inspection plate back on and before we recharge the aircon we're just going to make sure that these needles have it moved make sure it holds a vacuum which then means that there shouldn't be any leaks in the system that's 750 grams back in the machine at about 250 300 i heard the air conditioning pump click in you can see these gauges are doing their thing should click there yeah there we go perfect so that's my phone again. That's the reason why you didn't see me uh, recharging it. Okay, I do not need a thermometer to, to, to know that that aircon is working. In fact, I'm going to turn it down. Um, this is what it looks like in a timber harvester look. Buttons everywhere. Even like triggers on the back of there, look. I'm not going to touch anything because I'll end up chopping his car up. <laughs> But yeah, then you've got a monitor here that tells you how long your bit of wood is before you saw it and I would imagine it's got like its species there, look. Oh, it's clever, it knows. And then, um, yeah, I would imagine it feels how wide the tree is getting as you go further and further towards the top of the tree and it'll turn it into fence post lengths and stuff like that. Pretty clever but uh, far beyond my uh, capabilities of operating. As you can see, none of these buttons are labelled, so you just wouldn't have the foggiest what was going on if you didn't know, which I don't. Anyway, um, I'm gonna pack up here and head further east. Apparently it's currently raining in Carlisle, so I'm doing well to stay away from the weather. Um, well, I've got another one of those EDX85 um, fan reworks and I'm hoping that this machine hasn't gone too far over and damaged the water pump as well because I haven't got time to go back to it with the water pump <laughs> but you just don't know till you get there there we go I've just realised why I get so many phone calls just said to the block if you need out else you know where I'm at just give us a phone <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I stop saying that then I might not get any um, get any phone calls right uh, we are out of here and heading east eastbound and down loaded up and trucking I'm going to go through this Ford just because off-roadness splashy splashy turn around this gateway up here Whew. right I'll be a happy man if my phone doesn't ring again today. Okay, so I phoned site and I phoned the contact number for that DX85. Yeah, yeah, fire on. Get the machine, no bother at all. Gets to site here at one minute past four. Not a car in sight apart from the site managers. Uh, 
he was desperate to get away, collect his kids from nursery. I says, it's a 15 minute job, I says, you have to go and get your kids, you go and get your kids, don't don't worry about it, I'll, I'll find time to do it another time. He says, is it just 15 minutes? I said, it is, not even. So, hence why you've not seen me do that. I have just rattled through that. It's now 17 minutes past, so it is 15 minutes. It is a 15 minute job. So shout out to that site manager, because he could have quite happily said, no, nah, you're not going on site, mate. It's, I need to be away. So there you go. Not everybody is uh, out to make life hard work. Right, I'm going to pull up the main road now, so I'll switch you off. But I'll also end this video here as well, because uh, I need to go out this week, and I need some holiday cover, because I'm on holiday soon. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know by clicking the like button. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate you clicking the subscribe button too. See you in the next one.